G'day! In today's video, I'm just going to be doing a little bit of a review on the Aerocool Trinity Mini Black Case. This one, if I find the exact model number on here, is the Mini GBK version 3, which does include a couple of RGB fans. I'm not too sure if I'll use them, or at least I'll leave them in there for now, just for the sake of the video, and I may change them after the fact. Hopefully, what I'm installing in here will be a, a Ryzen 5 7600, a WD Black 1 terabyte, and if I put my camera down for a second, a Corsair CV750, a TP-Link AC12, and I'll be using a Gigabyte a B650M DS3H, and I'll be also in, hopefully installing this big, big beast. The Asus Dual RX 6750 XT, and the one I'm not too sure on if I will be able to fit is the Gamex L240A RGB. So I'm going to get busy and get them installed, and we'll see how I go with that. So maybe I was a bit too ambitious trying to fit the cooler in there. As you can see with my finger jamming in there, there is no room at all for an AIO, at least at the front. Maybe if you're feeling lucky at the top, you might be able to fit a 120, but especially with the RX 6750 or similar graphics cards, I don't think you'd be able to fit a tri-fan card in there, you'd be absolutely struggling. Anyway, while it's on, let's cover a few things regarding the case. So right now in stock configuration, I press the reset button, we will cycle colors. There we go, a bit of rainbow going on there. If I push and hold, I'm curious what's it going to do. Righto, holding it will turn them off. And we're back on. Go around the side here. We do have a single hard drive tray down the bottom, which to get that out, there'll be two screws left and right. At least I'm pretty sure there's going to be, if I can tilt this over while it's running and without dropping it. I can see one screw, I can see two screw. Two screws, then you'll be able to get that 3.5 inch caddy out that would slide backwards to get out. Right now these fans are powered purely off a single SATA. So they're daisy chain from the factory. So we've got the three of them here and we have the switch set to here going off to them. So that is connected to the reset switch which is going up to here which enables the power to be changed. The power supply, this particular one fitted just fine but I can imagine if you have a 1000 watt power supply, you may have to remove that hard drive tray to be able to get into there. It does look like we also may, no, I wouldn't say oh, this may be an also a 2.5 inch, but I don't think so. That looks like hard drive rises. Yeah, I'd say that's what probably going on there. Case itself is perfectly fine. Spin this around again. There's not really that much more to point out about it. You'd have to put in the extra riser screws, one down here, two up there for the motherboard. And it does come with a little tool to be able to screw those particular ones in. Just looks like a screw that goes over the top of them and that can help thread them in. And there's really not much more to it. You could potentially replace the fans if you like. They're perfectly fine. Probably the other thing I did encounter was we have three USBs up here. One is a USB 2, which is connected to the USB 2 header down here. We do have a USB 3 header over here, which was a little bit challenging to plug into there. As you can see, it's kinked at a 90 degree angle going straight up from it. So you do have to be a bit careful with that, especially if there's not much room, in, or especially if it's like this motherboard with not much room there. Um, Side panel does install quite fine. I will just quickly put that on. It sits over here. 
thumb screws in there to put them in. And I will find out how well this compacts over here. I'm just going to leave it as it is, at least for the moment, where I was just curious to see how well this will compress when I try to put the side panel on. Switch it off. And we do have these little grooves here and here to slot in the front. So if you if I lay this down, at least try to, due to the graphics card cable that's hitting at the front there, lay that down, push these in, try and figure a way to get that in. There we go. Move that out of the way. Compact it down. And that is sitting. Just grab a couple of thumb screws to put in there. I'll grab one thumb screw to put in there after dropping the other one. There we go. And well down there, I found a different thumb screw. Unplug HDMI. around here. Side panel does have film on both sides. Now this is requiring a little bit of force, mainly due to the eight pin or the two eight pins on the graphics card there in the bottom. So because of that it is pushing out on the glass I will relocate that at a later stage. I'll hit the power button in just a second. We'll see what it looks like when it's all together. Granted, with the film on there, it won't quite give you an accurate representation, but hopefully a good enough idea. I think overall with this particular case, you wouldn't want to use anything larger than a 6700. Or maybe even a dual a dual fan Radian or GeForce, say 3060, maybe even a 3070, you might be able to get away with. But I wouldn't really want to go too much larger than that. Any tri-fan cards will probably be ruled out altogether. But let's have a little bit of a look at the rainbow goodness. So a couple more fans up here. Might go quite well. The Zeus Duo light, I don't actually mind in that subtleness right there. Rotate it around. Let's get a more solid colour. There we go. Green, I don't mind. Or blue, just to match in. The viewing angles of the actual colours on or the RGB on the fans at the front, it's not bad. Definitely a lot brighter at the front there. But overall, not bad. Very small, simple style case. But if you're going to use it for a budget build, it's definitely already there. It's already got the RGB bling. It's got plenty of airflow at the front there. Probably put in a couple more fans at the top. And you'd be quite, yeah, quite good passing through quite a bit of air. But that has been the AeroCool Trinity Mini. Hope this helps with your decisions on whether or not you would like this case. And I'll catch you guys in another video. Bye.